everyone, welcome to the third episode of the Madeline Makes Bake Off series. It is Bread Week. This week, Bread Week, the bakers for the signature challenge made a tear in share loaf. For the technical challenge, they made burger baps, or buns as we would call here in the US. And for the showstopper, they made scored bread. So for this challenge, I have decided to take on the showstopper. This is the first showstopper so far. And if you remember the kind of rules of this challenge, I have to complete at least two showstoppers. So this is the first out of those two, maybe more than two. And the reason I chose the showstopper challenge for this week is because the showstopper was more aesthetic based rather than flavor based. Of course, flavor always matters. For those of you who watch Bake Off, you know the common phrase, you can't have style over substance. But because I've never tried scoring bread, I thought this would be a great opportunity to do so. And I thought it'd be a great way to kind of tackle a challenge that isn't necessarily exactly flavor based. So I will be making two scored loaves today. I will not be tasting them because I can't. I am making regular yeasted dough. Bread week for me, much like the contestants on the actual show, is a bit of a daunting task. I've been dreading bread week because up until recently, about a year ago, I wasn't a gluten-free baker. Up until that point, I was just a regular baker who got tummy aches after her bakes. <laughs> and it's been a year since I've made bread and I haven't even attempted to make gluten-free bread and today is not the day I will be attempting gluten-free bread. <laughs> got you, almost. I'm just gonna make regular yeasted bread. My house is gonna smell great, but I'm not gonna be able to taste it, which is a bummer, of course. So I'm just gonna do a regular farmer's loaf, flour, salt, water, and yeast. It's super basic, it's not gonna blow anyone's mind in terms of flavor, but hopefully we can get a really good scoring on it. I've never attempted scoring, I haven't rehearsed this in any way, so let's get started. I'm using bread flour, not all-purpose flour. I want the structure of the bread to hold up to it being manipulated with scoring. I remember from the episode there were a lot of blowouts uh, where it scored too deeply or, you know, stuff like that. I wanna give my bread the best chance of not losing its form when I bake it after I score it. Ah, oh, I love that smell. It smells so good. Okay, so I think that's our mixture. Pretty smooth. So I'm gonna let this uh, bubble up for about an hour and, uh, and then we will finish making our loaves. It's been an hour and ooh, we have a bubbly, yeasty mixture. Here we go. Can't lean it forward too much because anyway. Ooh, I've moved it so now it's like sinking. So now I'm gonna add the rest of my flour in a little bit at a time. I'll do about a half a cup at a time. I'm gonna use this for now and then I'll switch to a dough hook. I do have gluten sensitivity and while I'm not too worried about cross-contamination, try to avoid using my hands. So this is cup number three. I'm really should have marked it down or something. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a dough hook. I don't wanna mess with the texture too much on this. And it's just now forming into a dough and so that gluten's gonna be forming. So I wanna use a dough hook for that. So I'm gonna let this knead for quite a few minutes. I want it to be really elastic and I really want it to hold up against the scoring and I want it to have a good spring to it so that when I do slash it, it doesn't burst open. I think because there's a big center of mass in here, it's... <laughs> I guess I'll just hold it. <laughs> I may need to do some adjustments on my mixer, but this looks finished. Ooh, it's nice and smooth and springy. Looks really good. I know I said I didn't want to use my hands very much, but you know, what are you gonna do? I've got a bowl here. I'm just gonna grease it up with some olive oil, oil my dough, make it into one lovely loaf. Oh, I have missed making bread. This feeling is like the best in the world. All right, I'm gonna cover it. I think I'll just cover it with a little tea towel and I'll let that sit for another hour or until it doubles in size. It's pretty warm in here, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, another hour has passed and here it is is it has certainly doubled in size that's for sure oh my gosh oh, i love bread anyway wow <laughs> i love bread i miss bread i could make one giant loaf or i could make two loaves but i'm gonna do two loaves 
Um, actually, the original challenge on Bake Off was to do two loaves at least. I'm just gonna... <laughs> that looks about right. Now I'm just gonna shape these into loaves by tucking the bits underneath like this. Oh wow, this one's gonna be way bigger. <laughs> I should have measured it. I miss bread making. This is where I found my love of baking was in bread making because the fact that I can take flour and, and salt, water, and yeast and make this. Shut up, that's amazing. Leave these here for about 30 minutes, let them rise a little bit, and then we will get on with it. I have this thing here. It has a lovely blade on the end. I'm looking forward to it. All right, so our loaves are ready. They've expanded quite a bit. I should probably actually put these on two separate pans, but I'm not going to. I have never scored bread before, although I've made bread plenty of times, but this is a new skill. On the Bake Off, all of the bakers had a bit of a theme. My theme is pretty <laughs> feminine. For the first one, I'm gonna do a very traditional, I think they're called the olive branch or something like that where you just do little leaves going all around. And then for this larger one, I'm gonna to try to do something a little bit more intricate. We'll see how it goes. Symmetry is not my strong suit, so uh, we'll see how it goes. First things first, I'm gonna spray this very lightly with some cold water and sprinkle some flour on top, sifted flour, very fine flour, so that uh, the design really comes through, but you don't want clumps of raw flour, so. Oh my goodness. I hate doing things that are permanent. I have some sewing thread here. You're supposed to like press down so that you have quarters to work with for symmetry. You do this. Oh my gosh, I did it. Oh, I slashed it. I'm like Jack the Ripper. Weird thing to say. Ooh, I think that one was a bit too deep. Oh, wow. And I know it's not symmetrical. I know it's not perfect. Just hush, okay? I'm doing my best. I don't know whether or not I'm impressed yet with my own skills, so. But that has the potential to, I think, be a very pretty loaf. So with this one, the wheat stalk is going in between these lines rather than following along those lines. So it's going like in, and they get longer. I also wonder if my blade is, is, um, is sharp enough. It seems like it's pulling down where it should be just cutting. That could be user error. I have never used one of these before. I just bought it off Amazon. It's called a bread lame, I think, L-A-M-E, or lame? Surely not lame. That sounds ridiculous. But lame sounds lame. And I don't know what it's called, but it's like an official tool. And I know anyone who knows how to do this well is cringing right now, and that's okay. I'm not here to show you how to do something. I am here just like on the show so you can cringe alongside me. Hey, I have a couple of patterns here. Okay, I'm just gonna put this down before I ruin it, even though I wanna do something else here. I'm really interested to see how these rise. I am gonna bake them together on the same pan. I do think that they should probably go on separate pans. And um, we'll check on them in half an hour. I, I do think I'm gonna create a bon marie because I want the bread to be crispy on the outside, and I think that'll make sure that it holds its shape. So I'm gonna put some cool water in a pan and I'm gonna put that in the oven with it so it creates some steam. That'll make a crust on the outside. I think that'll help it hold its shape. So here's my bon marie. Just filled this with some cold water, some cold tap water. I'm gonna pop this in and then I'm gonna pop my bread right in. Now my bread, goodbye. All right, I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. I have to not open the door until I'm fairly confident that it's ready because I don't want all that steam to come out. But until then, I, I have a good feeling about this. I really do. But we'll see. Oh, wow. Ooh, it's steamy. Look at that. I am so pleased. These turned out really good. There is some of this crinkling here. So that kept its shape, but it looks like I didn't score it too deeply. I will say that on the show, the bakers that had the most issue did these really big slashes that could then cause the bread to like go like this. I played it just a tad bit. I probably played it very safe, let's be real. But I am so pleased with these designs for this being the first time I have ever scored bread. I'm glad I started small with this one 
There's definitely some refining that needs to be done. The judges of Bake Off would pick this apart for sure. Um, but as a first time home baker to do this, I'm quite pleased and I don't think I'll ever make a normal bread loaf again. They look really great. They sound great. Oh, I wish I could eat them. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh wow. They sound great, have a great crust. Ooh, I wish I could eat these. I'm seriously so pleased with how these turned out. I know they're not perfectly symmetrical. I know that they have flaws, but for the first time ever doing this, I mean, I feel like I created something beautiful and that is exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead, give this a slice. Ooh, they're still warm. Ugh, don't even think about how this tastes. Don't even. You hear that? Helps if you have a, a good knife. We've sliced this up to look all pretty and it just looks great. I, I love the way it looks, it's still warm. So I'm gonna have my honorary taste tester slash cameraman, production manager, editor, <laughs> give this a try for me and be very descriptive and specific in how it tastes. This actually does feel like Bake Off because when the judges try stuff, you, they know they don't always say what they think right away. So I'm over here like, do you like it? Not so sure about that face, you know. Tastes like bread. Tastes like bread. The center looks a little moist. Well, it's it's warm, so is it underbaked? I don't think, I don't think it's underbaked tastes like bread. I mean, that's really what we were aiming for. We weren't, I wasn't looking to go above and beyond in flavor. So the fact that it, I know what bread tastes like, okay. Good crunch. Good crunch. Thank you, Bon Marie, for making my bread crunchy. So we've got a really good texture on this bread. Oh, look at that. Mm. Does anyone else like to take the inside out of their bread and just eat that? This is exactly what that makes me want to do. Ah, oh, great, crispy. crust on the outside. Ah, what a great piece of bread. I've mauled this piece <laughs> just to give, but what a great bread. I mean, bread, I love it because it doesn't have to be fancy to be effective in its textures and its flavors. I mean, you got your crunchy, you got your soft, you got your salty just naturally from the bread. Yeah, great texture, nice and stretchy. This is why you should use bread flour because you'll get that nice stretchiness because the gluten forms. High, it has a higher gluten content. Well, I think that concludes bread week. I am breathing that sigh of relief that often comes from the bakers when they survive bread week. Woohoo! Uh, I really enjoyed this bake. I think this has been my favorite one thus far. Just it was exciting to make something new, but also kind of go back to my roots in baking. So really, really enjoyed this episode. I hope you did too. And if you did, consider subscribing to the channel to see all of the videos to come in this series and beyond. And if you liked this video, then please give it a like. And I will see you next week for Dairy Week here on the Madeline Makes Bake Off Show, Dairy Week. Okay, I am very excited about the recipe that I am putting together for that bake. So I hope to see you there.